welcome. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description of this video for the full playlist. We're going to be working with Blender 2.78a in this video, and we're going to do some video editing, just some basic stuff. Last video we looked at trimming clips and importing them. Today we're going to be looking at doing different types of fades. So I'm going to go up here and choose this drop down and go into the video editor, also known as the sequence editor. And again, I'm going to go to add, and I'm going to go movie. And I'm going to go to where I have the clips. And again, I can choose up here to see the thumbnails of all these videos, make it easier to choose the videos I want. I'm going to place them at frame one, starting at channel one. And I'm not going to import the audio. I'm going to let uh, change the frame rate of my project to match the videos. And I'm going to click import or add movie clips. So there we go. We have a few clips here. Now, there's different ways to do fades. And I'm going to show you one way today. And uh, so I'm going to grab this. So again, I'm, I'm right clicking and hitting G, just like any other uh, aspect of Blender is how that would work. And when I uh, choose a video, you can look off to the side here. And again, we have all these settings for this video. And we're going to go over a lot of these in future videos. But what we're looking at today is the opacity. And opacity, if you've worked with any type of video editing or photo editing, is basically the transparency of a video. So if I was to take that and move it down halfway, you can see the video is now half transparent. If I move it all the way down, it's completely transparent. Let's set that back to one, which is the maximum uh, size. You can also uh, lock it in. If you want to make sure that clip doesn't change, you can click that there. But what I want to do here is I want to fade it from black and then at each video, fade them. So I've overlapped the videos here. So I'm just going to go to about here. And I'm going to hover over here, and just like any other aspect of Blender, I'm going to hover over there and hit I, and I set a keyframe. Then I'm going to come here, and I'm going to hit I again. And then I'm going to select this video. I'm going to come here and click I. And we're just setting keyframes. I can drag down here, and I can click here, or wherever I want to start, and hit I. Also, you notice uh, this gray line here. That's because our project length is 250 frames, uh, but the videos combined in this configuration are 200 and, or sorry, 323. So let's go ahead and change this to 323. And oh, I'm sorry, that's where my timeline cursor was. Let's say it's a 333, which is uh, one frame past where we're at, it looks like. But that's fine because we're fading to black anyway. And actually, we're not fading to black. We're going to be fading the opacity out. And pretty much all uh, video formats, that will be a black where there is no other video. So what we've done so far is we've set key frames in certain videos at 100%. Now I'm going to go here to the beginning of this clip. I'm going to move this opacity down to 0 and hit I. So now we've set keyframes, and you can actually see uh, our curve line here of where it's fading in from. And let's go to the end of this video clip right here, drag it down to zero, and hit I. And so now you can see where the video fades in and where it fades out. Uh, you can see the frames uh, down here. And if I was to come here and hit Alt-A, you can see it faded in. Uh, from a transparency, but again, when we render out, it will be black in pretty much all video formats. And here it's going to fade to the other video. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to this video clip here. And we've set our keyframes for the maximums, so let's set the minimums. Uh, I'm going to drag this down and hit I. And then I'm going to drag it, I'm going to choose here. Gonna drag it down and hit I. So we're just setting keyframes. And again, anything that has a value in Blender can usually have keyframes set to it. I can also manipulate them up here. So again, I have, and I can uh, control and scroll out, or sorry, just scroll out. So scroll down, scroll up, we'll zoom in and out. I can click the here and I can hit Alt A to play. You see that it fades in. And, uh, and then in a second here, it's going to fade out or fade to the next video, and the next video is going to fade in, and at the end it's going to fade out. Now, you'll notice up here also that right now, currently, oops, these videos are playing at uh, certain frame rates, and a second ago it was playing at about 17 frames per second, which is at right now. Uh, and then it went to 30 frames a second. You'll see when it loops around here, it's playing at 30 frames a second, which it should be playing at. Uh, that's because the whole timeline is not cached. So there's different things you can do 
uh, to get this cached. So, and that's what I'm going to go over in, in future videos, but note the frame rate there, that if it seems like it's playing slow, it's because it is. Uh, there's two things you can do, again, we'll go over this in a future video, which is um, making uh, proxy videos, which I've talked about in other video editors, uh, that and or um, caching more of the video. So that is one way to do a fade in and out uh, is to adjust the opacity. So again, let, let me go over that again real quick, just as a review. So I'm going to uh, hit A a couple times so they're all selected, hit delete, then I'll go uh, uh, add, movie, I'm going to select, whoops, all these movies here, and I'm going to say start at frame one, no sound, add clips. There we go. And then I'm going to grab them, and uh, I'll do it reverse this time just so you can see the difference. I'm going to put the middle video over top. And if I just want to fade this video, I can put it here at where I want it to be at its maximum, and I can hit I. I can go to the beginning of this clip and drag that down to zero, or type zero in there if I would like, hit I. So again, we have key frames here of it fading, as you can see in the preview window there. Then I can come here, I want it at its max, which is one, so I'll hit I. And I can come here, drag it down, and hit I again. So now I have my feds again. Uh, control A to play. Again, you can see that frame rate slow because it hasn't cached it yet, but it should be caching this part now, although there's a max amount of uh, RAM we have set aside for caching. Again, we'll get into that. I've talked about that in previous videos in Blender, but we'll go over that uh, more in a future tutorial. Um, yeah, in the next video, I'll show you another way to do fade effects. So I do thank you for watching. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description of the video. Go ahead, check that out. Also check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash melex1000. There's a link to that in the description as well. If you'd like to become a monthly supporter, even a dollar a month is appreciated. If you can't do that, I also have PayPal links on my website. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.